Thank you all for resisting the temptation to stay outside in the sunlight this afternoon. And my name is Amir Pasik. I am the Dean of the Lilly Family School of Philanthropy. And it is my privilege to welcome you to the 12th Annual Thomas H. Um, uh, Lake Lecture. Uh, the Lake Lecture is a highlight of the year at the Lilly Family School. It draws attention to exceptional work in the field that is nurtured by the Lake Institute on faith and giving. And this year, we are fortunate to have with us a truly exceptional scholar. The Lake Institute is one of the founding pillars of our school. Every year, our Giving USA study shows that religion is the top destination for giving in the United States. But beyond numbers and dollars, our most profound traditions of giving are often tied to those most intimate elements of our identity that are tied to religion. So I am very pleased as the dean that all students who graduate from our school will be aware of the fundamental importance of religion and philanthropy. And this is possible due to the generosity of the Lake family and Lilly Endowment. This is also possible thanks to the person I have the honor to introduce. Charles Bantz became chancellor of IUPUI in 2003. Under his watch, research funding grew by more than 50% and IUPUI exceeded its first billion dollar campaign by more than 30%. He has led IUPUI to become a vital anchor for the dynamism of Indianapolis and central Indiana by strengthening bonds with the community and supporting the success of our students. The innovative advances in community engagement under Charles's leadership have brought national recognition to IUPUI, including an award from the President of the US. It is also wonderfully appropriate to have the IU Lilly Family School of Philanthropy housed at a university that is a leader in community engagement. In addition to his leadership of the university, we also have Charles to thank for his dedication and commitment to the school and the Lake Institute. We are grateful for his role as one of our school's true founders. Please join me in welcoming Charles Bantz. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. This is, uh, some of you have heard me as I came in, I recognize faces, some of you know. I say this is one of the great experiences of the year for me because it is literally the most intellectual uh, evening of the year. Uh, I have uh, been privileged in the time I've been here to learn something about uh, rabbinical scholarship and uh, interpreting whether or not dirty money needs to be returned. I have uh, learned uh, an incredible series of things from a variety of different perspectives. Uh, on that particular lecture, I still uh, find it amusing how much of it I remember uh, of an incredibly uh, clever, thoughtful, detailed analysis, but that is only one of such uh, kinds of presentations. Uh, it is, I think, a great example of what a university should do, which is to challenge all of us to think uh, deeply occasionally, uh, but always think broadly about what it is uh, we are interested in in our lives. And this topic, uh, of all topics, certainly has that. I want to thank Amir uh, Pasek, uh, both for the welcome, obviously, but also for, uh, as I teased him, uh, he's still at work. Uh, this is a good thing for someone who started in January. Uh, but we appreciate uh, Amir uh, taking this challenge on. It is a great opportunity, we believe, uh, but it is a, a change that does require one to move and to uh, move his family and to take on a new life. So we are really pleased to have him uh, with us uh, in leading uh, the school into its future. We also know that there are any number of other guests here today that we owe a great deal to, uh, including, of course, the founding dean, Jean Temple, and others as I look around and I'm looking down the row at the Buttry family and, and I see Don and the rest of the family. Uh, and as you've already heard, uh, Karen Lake Buttry and uh, the Lilly Endowment and the support for this has been absolutely uh, amazing and essential to create an anchor, I believe, uh, in the school. So we want to thank all of them for that. We also want to thank the vision of everyone who was willing to help support and create this. I had a conversation once a number of years ago with your president, uh, Father Jenkins, and uh, said to him, some days I confess, I'm envious of a president who has virtually the ability to align 
all the value structure, because of course it's a religious institution, institution. On top of that, he happens to be a theologian, if I remember correctly. And on top of that, he had an institution where he built, the, he built over almost over 100 years, a whole series of things that reinforce the value structure of the institution. Uh, public universities don't do that. Uh, and I said that to him. I said, uh, I, I joke routinely that I'm an aggressive nonpartisan. I have virtually no expressed political beliefs in my job uh, because I'm in a public institution. Uh, I have uh, spiritual beliefs, but frankly, I have been, people have asked uh, me in my time here whether I am a variety of religions uh, in my background, and I count that as an achievement. Uh, that, that, that that is uh, the case. But Father Jenkins made the point that I thought uh, really helped uh, me personally and has helped our campus, which is you have found other ways to bring that unity. And one of the ways you've done that is by focusing on a commitment to improve your community and community engagement. And that literally is part of the basis of the Lake Institute in our institution because it was easy to say this is the right thing to do when you look at a community and know that a single key anchor in any community is the faith community and to understand that relationship and philanthropy is vital. So this is an innovative institution, the Lake Institute, especially in a public university, but it is also, I believe, the right place for it to be. So I want to welcome all of you here. I want to thank the members of the faculty and the Board of Advisors uh, of the Lake, uh, or of the uh, Institute. And I want to thank you especially for your commitment and welcome, of course, our speaker here uh, tonight. But I'm not going to introduce our speaker. I'm going to ask uh, our colleague, uh, who is the director, of the Lake Institute on Faith and Giving, David King, uh, to come forward and do that. Uh, David is a uh, ordained minister. He is a uh, American religious historian uh, and has very broad interests from 20th century religious practice in American and global faith communities and has looked at nonprofits and their relationship uh, to that as well. He also has rhetoric listed as one of his interests, which I always find interesting because I have studied with some uh, rhetoricians in my career. But let's welcome our uh, director of the Lake Institute in order to introduce our speaker tonight, David King. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Bands, for the way that you supported our work at Lake Institute and the Lilly Family School of Philanthropy. Uh, it, it's a pleasure to introduce Christian Smith as our 12th annual Thomas H. Lake Lecturer. Chris is the William R. Kennan, Jr. Professor of Sociology and Director of the Center for the Study of Religion and Society at the University of Notre Dame. He received his MA and PH, PhD from Harvard University and his BA from Gordon College. Before coming to Notre Dame, he taught sociology at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for 12 years. As an American religious historian myself, I've been a longtime admirer of Smith's work. He's one of the most prolific and well-regarded American sociologists working today. And not only is Christian prolific, but he has a rare nimbleness as a scholar, serving as a leading voice shaping multiple conversations among both academics and practitioners. I first encountered Christian's work on faith and social movement activism, where he emphasized not only political structures, but also the personal moral motivations at play for social activists. Smith then moved to write some very important books on American evangelicalism that identify the immense cultural complexities within conservative Protestantism. Using a subcultural identity theory, he identified evangelicals as both embattled and thriving. In another award-winning book, Divided by Faith, Smith, along with co-author Michael Emerson, examined evangelical religion and the problem of race. Their conclusions still prove prescient today. But others of you may know Smith's work through his groundbreaking national study of youth and religion. Books like Soul Searching and Lost in Transition delved deeply into the spiritual and religious lives 
of teenagers and now young adults. He coined a phrase, moral therapeutic deism, that has become ubiquitous in the literature around the religious lives of young people and millennials. In 2008, Smith turned his attention to religion and money and published what is still one of the best books examining why Christians give or don't. In Passing the Plate, Why American Christians Don't Give Away More Money, Smith examines the complex reasons for the somewhat limited financial giving of American Christians and suggests that more liberal giving could accomplish world transforming change. That research led Smith to continue a line of research on generosity. In 2009, with a grant from the John Templeton Foundation, Smith and a number of researchers from Notre Dame and around the world began seeking to understand why some people practice generosity and others don't. The result is among the most comprehensive studies of American giving habits ever conducted. Lake Institute on Faith and Giving, the Lilly Family School of Philanthropy have been eager partners in conversation, um, in conversation with the Science of Generosity Project to expand our own understandings of generosity. Smith's most recent book released this fall, The Paradox of Generosity, Giving We Receive, Grasping We Lose. Written along with Hillary Davidson, it demonstrates Christian Smith at his best, writing persuasively, letting the data speak for itself, but also providing us stories, images, and pithy takeaways that demonstrate that generosity is good for us, our communities, and society. There's no better person to offer the Thomas H. Lecture, uh, Thomas, H. Lake, Thomas H. Lake Lecture that examines the broad intersections of faith and giving. Chris will just present a piece of his, of his expansive research on generosity, and we're privileged to have him today. His lecture is entitled The Generosity Equation, Donors, Faith, and Avenues to Giving. Please help me welcome Chris Smith to IUPUI.